Okay, so, um, Cajun, this is Cajun, and I'm back. Unfortunately, I uh, recorded a whole session, and um, the video didn't come through at all, so we only got audio, so I just deleted it. It was stupid. Um, but I'll, I'll give a summary of what happened. We had a mission where we had to rescue uh, some, some VIPs, and I'd like to point out that uh, we did it. We succeeded in rescuing the VIPs, though the word we is not exactly the word I should use. It should be Nemet succeeded in rescuing the VIPs because that's exactly what happened. Um, Nemet is the only person who survived. Um, we then ran another mission and everyone but this person here um, got, uh, got out fine. This person, Maxim, got injured. And we picked up a new sniper. So you're all caught up. Didn't miss too much. Um, we're just gonna get these guys, uh, these guys all all set up here. Whoa, a sergeant. That's pretty good. Snapshot. Uh, so I kind of like this one. Removes the rest rifle's restriction on firing overwatch after moving. Okay, so we're going to go for that one. Sergeant, two extra uh, gunslinger, two extra damage with pistols, or plus ten aim, plus ten defense if they're elevated. Uh, that's that's actually not such a bad one. Let me go for that one. I kind of like that one. Okay, okay so uh, what are we going to do with this person, though? Uh, we obviously have to give them a new name now that they're now that we can. Paula Lee. Paula Lee. Uh, well, you know what? No, we'll leave him we'll leave him like that for now. Okay. We do have, however, we have our uh, our friend Tafargi here, who I think uh, I think he needs a new name. I think uh, his first name should be Steve, and his last name. Uh, what, what would Steve's last name be? Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll leave it, uh... Name, uh, let's see... Uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, Steve... Watson. I, I don't know. I'm assuming that's his last name. Um, and that's fine. You know, we'll just leave the rest of it the same. Alright, so we have a Steve. We've got a Steve. Um, we don't have a Winston anymore. We may have lost Winston. Uh, there's a, there's a distinct possibility. Anastasia. Uh, oh no, this won't do. There we go. That's a lot better. I think that's more fitting, and only a little bit stereotypical. Okay, so, um, yeah. So uh, next up, we'll scan for more activity. All right, so we have the ability to deploy a new satellite. I'll show you what the satellites do. So you notice how France right now and Egypt, ooh, France and Egypt are just not doing well. If I throw a satellite up here, it automatically takes two of their panic things away. Now I need to buy a new uplink, unfortunately. Um, that is something I can do in engineering. Uh, satellite uplink. Uh, if I want to build one, I should probably build it right here because it gives me an additional satellite for having it there. Uh, but of course, I can't because I don't have enough engineers. That's okay. That's all right. Um, actually, in the meantime, maybe get some power. Should I get some power? You have a power generator here. Sixty bucks. Yeah, why not? I'll throw a power generator. Work crews on their way to begin construction. Beautiful. I'll send word when the new facility is operational. Okay, so we got three more days to the uh, satellite is over France, four days to beam weapons, five days to power generator, and seven we get a council report. I don't think they're going to be too happy. Satellite coverage now available All right. over France. We have beam weapons, or the ability to produce beam weapons, actually. Uh, so, I can now make a laser pistol, a laser rifle, ooh. and then I can, what I can actually do is I can upgrade from there precision rifles, which gives me... Um, a sniper rifle and a scatter gun, and then we have the uh, the heavy laser, which is the heavy gun. Uh, there's also carapace armor, which is pretty good. Um, experimental warfare. I can't quite remember what this is going to get me, but they really want me to do the sectoid thing here, the uh, the research thing. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and do that. Get them off my back, and then uh, let's let's go ahead and let's scan here. All right. Oh, there's a power generator up and running. That needed its own cutscene, I thought. 
show you something funny though, real quick here. Uh, so this is the power generator, right? And there's a caution sign there, and it's hard to read it, probably in your thing, but I'll read it out to you. It says, if the device begins leaking or malfunctioning, contact your supervisor immediately. Safety not guaranteed. I have only done this once before. Risk of electrocution. <laughs> yeah, that, that fills me with confidence. Yeah, so we got a council report. Yeah, we do. We are extremely impressed really? With the progress of the XCOM project We're still impressed. Well, that's good. Commander, your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. All right, so they're they're pleased. Remember, That's good. We will be watching. Ah, uh, scan for activity. Get this xenobiology thing going on here. I'm gonna take a drink. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive? Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuromuscular... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And then interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I could construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. But I'm right here. I was listening to the conversation. Okay, so... I can now capture a live alien. Ooh, fancy. New facility. I can also buy an alien containment. And they want me to build this damn arc thrower already. So the arc thrower lets me capture an alien. It's basically like a stun gun. And, I mean, it took me like ten missions the first time I tried it to actually get the damn thing to work. But, um... Uh, you know, we're gonna we're going to experimental warfare here first, the team and we'll get to your little task to later. Work in the lab. Right. Oh wait, you know what? I'm gonna go to engineering here. We are going to build some more stuff here. Oh, we can't build some more stuff. Oh, we don't have enough engineers. I'm guessing they have something else in mind. This is not good. All right, build facilities. Can I at least? Can I? Please. Build alien containment. Okay, five, five power. Oh, I have enough. That's fine. Okay. All right, and then uh, moving on to the next mission. Or well, the first mission. If you've been watching for the past like ten minutes, uh, Japan wants laser pistols. Yeah, I want laser pistols too. Ugh, sign more research. So I can now build a bunch of random stuff. Okay, that's fine. Phoenix cannon for my planes and a foundry to upgrade my weapons. Alright, um... If I'm gonna go up close and personal with this arc thrower, I think I'm gonna get this carapace armor. Before I do anything else. Let's keep going. Alright, alien containment machine is ready. Alien containment facility online. Fancy. Keep going. Alright, so now we got some abduction we have multiple sites. reports of new abductions in progress. Um, the locations are marked on the hologlobe. Alright, so we got United States, difficult. Port Harcourt, moderate. And China, difficult. I got a sniper off of them. United States get 200 bucks. I got four engineers off Nigeria. Uh, but these guys are difficult and they're already at three. Uh, mm, we'll go for the US. I really don't want to lose the U.S., that would be bad. Okay, so we got uh, this person. Um, since they have a shotgun, they probably don't need a scope. I'm going to give them back the frag grenade. There you go. Didn't I get a sniper rifle? A sniper, I mean. There we go. Um, next, we have... Uh, Watson is an assault guy. We have a support guy. 
I'm going to actually put Nemet in here. Nemet is a med kit. Yeah, there we go. So we got a support and two assaults. Do we want two assaults or do we want more supports? What do we want here? Assault guy probably shouldn't have the med kit. I'm going to give him the frag grenade instead. Nemet's got that. She's got that. Assault's got the frag grenade. Uh, nobody has the scope, but you know what? Actually, let's do this. You get the scope because you're the sniper, and Watson will get the nanofiber vest. So he's going to be up close to us. Let's do it! Landing in the US. In a sparsely populated area, I'm sure. It's always a sparsely populated area in the US. Alright, so, looks like. Copy that, big sky. Strike one is clear to engage hostile targets. Looks like we might be going along the length of the bridge. Yeah. I'd be willing to bet that we are going along the length of the bridge. Alright, there we go. We got some uh, aliens already. A couple of them. Now they're all behind. Sniper person up. Move her into position up here. Can't see anything yet. That's okay. Go put her into Overwatch. Uh, person with shotgun. Gonna run way the hell up there. Get up there. And then we have Nemet. Nemet the ever vigilant. Alright, well, probably gonna jump out and shoot me. Less than ideal, but that's all right. I'm all right. They hit the car. I don't think they hit the car. That's okay. They're flanking my position. What an interesting sound that guy made. I'm fire. All right, so uh, Cover the so I'll show you what what just happened here. First off, first off, sniper rifle, 51% to hit over there. Not too bad. Um, I'm gonna give it a try anyway. I'm gonna give it a try. Yeah, right in the brain. Okay, so, uh, you notice these two are standing next to a flaming car. Uh, that's, that's also known as a bad thing. That car will explode and will kill them. So, I'm just gonna move over here, just slightly out of the way. 18% chance to hit, and that's not good. And this guy is gonna run up. I'm gonna put him. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him to go right up over here, and then I'm gonna try. 33% chance to hit, not good. So that's all right. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Oop, no. Put him on Overwatch, and what we got over here? One percent chance to hit. That's uh, that's fancy. That's what I call fancy. I'm going to do, you know what, I'm going to do this running gun. Now I can run and gun, which is good, so she's going to actually go up here. I'm going to see if she can't see our friend. No, she can't. That's okay, I can still put her on Overwatch, and that works fine, too. Boom. Car exploded. And, alright, apparently the aliens didn't want to mess with us, so... I'm just gonna move him way, or her rather, way up there. Oh, this was a bad plan. I ran into her. A uh, little trap going on here. That's okay. Looks like I might still have a chance. Yeah, yeah, you're definitely screwed. Um, okay, and the only person with the hand grenades up here. Well, that's good. Ten percent chance to hit. Frag grenade can't go far enough. Oh, this is a great day to be alive. Alright, Watson. I need you to run and gun. And you're gonna have to run up to, like, here. And you may have to point blank shoot this guy in the face. Or shoot the cl dust cloud over there and have him die anyway. That's fine. That works too. And, uh, our friend over here. Well, really the only way that she's going to live is if I kill them, or at least distract them, so 
frag grenade it is. Frag grenades make pretty good distractions. Okay, it looks like if I throw it here, I get them both. So let's give it a try. Okay, we got one. Got one. Better than nothing. And, okay, last guy. Move up here and see if I have a shot at all. Which I don't, so... I'm gonna throw a smoke grenade right here and make it hard for the aliens to see me. Or see her, rather. Alright, so that gives her a little bit more cover. See, that worked. That actually missed. Uh, which is good. Uh, so she's gonna move up. Get out of that cloud. Uh, ooh, 29% chance to hit. That's not good. Pull out the pistol instead. What do we got? 54. Ah, give it a shot with the pistol. There we go. One damage. Uh, could be better. But could be worse. Could be a lot worse. Okay. Uh, move her over here. She's still got a shot? She's still got a shot. 38%. Well, let's give it a try. Yeah, look at that. Beat the odds there. Okay. Just for guys, just gonna move up a bit. I'm not gonna move them much further because I really don't want to encounter any more aliens. Not while everyone's standing in the open with idiots. Okay. Um, Alright, so move our sniper into position up here. I really should be putting her up high, but I'll Move our buddy over here. Move our other buddy up here. Nemet, it's all you, Nemet. Alright, everyone's on Overwatch, everyone's waiting. And, uh, alright. Moving our guy up some more, moving our guy up some more. What do you see? You see nothing? Or a sniper. Still nothing. Nemet, anything? No, we're all gonna chill out near that car, I think. Uh, alright, Watson. It's all about you, man. See if you can spot something. And nothing again. Nemet's gonna move on, too. Right, and that's it. If anybody jumps out, our sniper will hopefully uh, shoot him. Oh, you hear that? I did hear that. Right. Just gonna run her over here, see if I see anything. No. If I run way the hell up here. There's a few. Okay, so we got a few over here. Uh, hmm, then it's not in the best of places. That's okay. Then it's gonna rush over here. Uh, get my sniper into position. Yeah, get up there, get up there. She sees them both, beautiful. And Watson. Watson's gonna run up over here, get behind some cover. Yeah, alright. They're pretty far away, so I'm not anticipating they'll be able to hit with perfect accuracy. Or maybe they will. You know, whatever. Alright, so... Critically wounded. Could be worse, could be a lot worse. She could be dead. I do have a few rounds to run, so, um, alright, so three turns until she bleeds out. How close is Nemet? Nemet is, uh, Nemet could be closer, that's, uh, that's one way of putting it. 46% chance to hit that guy, 30 for that one, okay. Go for the 30, 46. Ah, took him out. Beautiful. Nemet! Uh, Nemet's gotta run the hell up here. Okay, just get up there. We'll deal with the next round. Alright, 
Watson. What's Watson got? Shotgun. Alright, so. Oh no, where'd that other guy go? He was over here somewhere. Alright, I'm gonna move him up. There we go, spot him. Oh, there he is, right behind the car. 58% chance to hit him, or if I use running gun, I can get right up next to him. And 90% chance. If he misses at this point, it's his own fault if he dies. Oh no, it didn't kill him. Oh well, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. Ah, whatever. Alright. Guys kind of everywhere here, aren't they? Ugh. Poisoned me. Shots being fired everywhere. All right, I'm gonna have him kill him, and he missed with a 90% chance to hit. That doesn't seem overly possible, but that's okay. 90% chance to hit, and he missed. Okay, so I'm gonna move her up, down, whatever. Instead, see if I can't. Help him out, so 70% chance to hit him, 42% chance. We'll try for this guy here. Got him. Excellent. Now Nemet. Nemet can either revive or has a 73% chance of hitting this guy. I'm actually gonna tell Nemet to just miss. I'm gonna tell him to miss apparently with 73%. Uh, uh that's expected. Oh well. Oh, we lost Watson. this guy over and uh, finish them off. 82%. And now it's going to stabilize our, uh, our victim here. And now we've got uh, the alien's turn. Hopefully they'll miss Nemet again. <coughs> Which they didn't. Of course they hit him. Alright. Romanov. Load. Completely forgot. Nemet's got a 73% chance to hit again. Try again. Yeah. There we go, that's better. Ah, oh, we lost one guy, that's not so bad. Alright, well, I'm gonna take a break now. So, oh no, that's not good. So, China is panicked. Um, they have five, uh, five bars of panic. And Egypt is also panicked. That's not good. Which means we need to either send a satellite up there, or we need to do a mission that involves going out there. Uh, if, I'm, if another month goes by and we don't help them, they go into big panic mode, and then we just lose them as, as potential everything. Okay, well, uh, so uh, our assault person got a got an upgrade, so we can give plus five defense per enemy in sight, or ten percent chance per enemy in sight. 10% critical chance. I like that better, so I'm going to go for that. Uh, Nemet Fox, nicknamed Santa. Wow. Good job there. He's going to get the one here that lets me... Uh, oops, no. It's definitely not one of one. Smoke and Mirrors lets him use one more grenade. Meh. Field Medic lets him use three med kits a turn. Yes, that is very helpful. Alright, so... Oh, I'm going to take a break here, and uh, see you guys next time.